What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another V-Ray new feature video for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out the new features contained inside the newest version of V-Ray, version 5.2 for SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, there's a page on the uh, Chaos Group documentation page. It talks through all of the new features inside of this new version, as well as a video on V-Ray's YouTube channel. So if you do want to watch through and get a little bit more in depth with some of this stuff, I will link to both of those, or I will link to this page, which also has the video on it, in the notes down below. But I thought we could kind of talk through some of the new features, what they mean, other things like that. So first off, um, one of the new features is the new scattering tool. So the new scattering tool is something that uh, I think is going to be really helpful inside of V-Ray. So basically what it does is it allows you to scatter objects inside of your scene, right? And so the way that we're going to do that is let's say, for example, that we've got V-Ray set up with a scene like this. And let's say that we want to scatter this object over a selection. And so what that's going to do is it's going to give you this indicator right here that scattering is happening on this surface. So then we can jump over into the V-Ray Asset Editor and we can find the option for scatter. So notice how this scatter function got brought in here. So let's say, for example, that we wanted this to be bushes. We're just going to call this scatter bushes, right? So you've got the scatter bushes in here. And then what we want to do is we want to add an object to the guests list. So guests basically means the things that are going to be scattered inside of your scene. So let's go ahead, let's select this bush, which I've downloaded from the uh, Chaos Cosmos library. And then we're going to jump back over here. And we're going to click on the button to add guests. So notice how when I click the button to add guests, what this does is this scatters multiple different proxy versions of this object over this surface. Now, obviously this is too many. So let's bring our density down to like 0.01 hit the enter key. Notice how that's going to reduce this. So now we've got much less of these inside of our scene. But if I was to click on the button for render, so if I was to just render this out a quick, notice how those objects are going to show up in this render, fully rendered. So the cool thing about this is you can go back and adjust it, right? So you can adjust like the seed, for example. So if you were to adjust this, notice how the placement of these objects is going to adjust based on that seed. So we could bring our density up to like 0.05, and then adjust our scene, and that's going to adjust where our objects are placed inside of our 3D space. And so there's a number of things that you can adjust down below. So for example, the random rotation, minimum and maximum, the scale, minimum and maximum. You can adjust how big or small these get. So if I do like a 0.5 and I do a 1.5, Notice how the difference between the smalls and the larges over here is going to be fairly significant. So you can adjust these things inside of the scatter. You could also add additional guests in here if you wanted to do that. So we could talk about this more in depth in the future, but the scatter functionality I think is a great functionality because you have to render out things that are randomly placed so often inside of your renderings. All right, so the Chaos Vantage live link is gonna let you link directly into Chaos Vantage to see your scenes inside of their ray traced uh, real time renderer. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to link back and forth between SketchUp and Chaos Vantage. So notice how these changes are happening um, in real time inside of Chaos Vantage. So having that live link and giving the ability to make the adjustments inside of SketchUp and see them happen um, in the real time ray traced engine is something that could be really valuable. I haven't done a video on Chaos Vantage yet. Um, I'm planning on doing it. So let me know if that's something you're interested in in the comments down below. All right, so they've also added a new category to Chaos Cosmos, which is materials. And so what that does is that gives you access to a new library of materials that you can bring into SketchUp. So for example, let's say that we were to jump into SketchUp like this, and there's a button right here for Chaos Cosmos. So if you haven't seen that, you can click on that in order to get in here. But notice how they've got a what's new section down below. And so they've got new exterior assets, they've got new interior models, they've also got the new category for materials. So if you click on this, this is going to give you access to all of these different materials. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to apply this grass material to the scene. Well, I can click on this, and I've already downloaded this, so all I would have to do is just click on the button for import to bring that into my scene. So notice how this says my asset import is now in progress. So it's working on importing that into SketchUp. And then when it's done, if I go into my asset editor, under my materials, this grass material is going to show up in here. So then 
I can just apply that grass material to this object right here. So now that glass material has been applied, I can render it out. And you can see how now we've got grass in our scene. So the cool thing about that is that's already set up with the different maps and everything like that. So I don't really have to mess around with it at all. Um, and it just gives me access to this library of different materials inside of V-Ray. So we can take a closer look at these in the future if you're interested in, but notice how you've got all these different materials that you can now bring in. All you have to do is click the download button in order to bring them down. So they've also, improved the V-Ray material so that we can have better transparent and translucent materials. So there's different settings in here in order to do that. This is one I haven't really played around with yet. Um, we can look at it in more detail if you want, but just know that this is going to give you better results um, for transparent and translucent materials. So the decal function is going to give you the ability to place decals on surfaces inside of V-Ray. So anything from pictures like this application right here on the wall to you can use it for things like like uh, graffiti on walls or um, imperfections or other things like that. So we can definitely take a look at that more in the future, but that's an exciting new feature as well. So you've now got control over sharpen and blur in the V-Ray frame buffer to give you more control over how sharp or blurry your images are that you create. So they've made a couple improvements to V-Ray Vision. So for example, now you have the ability to export your scene to like an executable file that someone without a V-Ray license can open up and they can actually fly through your scene. Um, they've also given us the ability to export directly from Vision as a video, um, as well as some additional things that Vision can do. So now it supports sun animations. Um, so you can animate the sun inside of V-Ray Vision as well as adding grass to your scenes and it's got support for IES lights. So that's gonna allow us to quickly create those more realistic looks inside of Vision. Definitely excited to get more in depth in these on this channel. I'd love to hear from you what your favorite new feature is. If you are interested in V-Ray for SketchUp, I will link to that on this page. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.